time for cleaning the throttle body. I'm going to start by removing this intake elbow. These are 10 mil bolts. You can use a um, Phillips head screwdriver also, but I feel a little bit better using uh, a hex socket in case it gets stripped. Okay, so I've got the uh, intake elbow off. Now I'll come over and disconnect the throttle. There's two down here too. And I also need to unplug the throttle position sensor. And then uh, the four main uh, fasteners here. Okay, so I think I have everything off besides these two lines down here. So I'm gonna just remove the fasteners now. There's four. Uh, here they are uh, 12 millimeter and I think that will give me better access to disconnect these two lines down here Besides those two lines. Yeah, it looks pretty dirty. Hmm. Having some of these uh, angled needle nose pliers is a good idea if you're taking off a throttle body because there's too much vacuum piping. Oops. That juice looks super dirty. Holy crap. Oh, it's coolant. Other one off. Okay, we got it off, and as you guys can see, there's like a huge layer of stuff just caked on there. So first, we're gonna start by removing this top guy, uh, which is the air idle control valve. It looks like there's five, five Phillips head screws. So we'll take this out so that, and uh, totally spray this so that uh, you know it doesn't, it doesn't uh, get in and make anything else gunked up. This thing is so dirty. No wonder it was sticking. 
it is no surprise that it was sticking. Now, alright, so we will just take the tooling off here, and uh, what else is holding this on? What is that? Oh, okay. So there's like a little rubber O-ring in here for the uh, the coolant. That's kind of you know I didn't know there was coolant uh, that ran through this, so that's kind of neat. Hmm. Oh, it must be for the for the idle control. That makes sense. Huh. All right, so I'm just gonna go at it and spray the whole inside of this thing out. Maybe I should just I can get what I can off or something. I don't know. Wow. Wow. All right, let's just spray. I'll break it down. So here's the end result here. Just a lot of spraying and wiping basically. So now I'll just remove uh, the old gasket here and then we will get this thing put back in. Still, it's still, I still feel a little bit of binding, but I think it's all right. Hopefully I don't have to clean this thing for a long while. So for the reinstall, here is the part number for the gasket, uh, throttle body gasket here. Um, if it doesn't come out clearly, I'll post it below. But one thing to note is that there uh, is also a gasket for the idle air control valve. Um, I do have one, I just don't know where the heck it is. And mine actually came off clean, so I just reused the same one. Um, whether or not that bites me in the butt. We'll see, and you guys will see if I end up making another video. But let's go ahead and throw everything back together. Bam. That's it, everything is uh, back together. Hopefully it doesn't bind anymore. It's a little bit squeaky, but I know it's clean. And uh, oh yeah, intake snorkel needs to go back on.
that concludes the throttle body cleaning. Mm, tomorrow should be uh, the axle and the uh, fluid changes for the trans and the rear end. Um, yeah, not that exciting of a video, this one. It's um, being hunched over the car for a while just really sucks, I think. You know, it's really tiring. Um, I, I would almost rather be underneath the car because that way, you know, if you get really tired, you can just lay down and take a nap or whatever. So, yeah, I'm pretty tired. Uh, I think I'm going to try to do or at least get started on the axle uh, during the daytime. Uh, as you saw, it's like 2 a.m. right now, so I still have to go in. I'm going to edit this video so it can be posted by the morning. I think I'm going to open up some packages tomorrow too. So I'll see you guys tomorrow and take it easy.